So now we're in the part three of how to create a gauge chart with a needle in chart.js. So right now we have this line here. Let's go down here and start exploring this. So what I want to do here is first of all, make this more simplified. To simplify this, I'm going to use a simple trick here or a tool, which is called the ctx.translate. And by doing that, what you're really doing is indicating a new zero point. So what I will say is this here, the X and Y center can put in here, then these here can be converted into zero because this will be the new center. And if I do that, it will look a bit crazy here right now because I forgot to do something here. So what I'm going to do here is ctx.restore. So I'm restoring this item, save that, refresh, and now it works nicely. So what I really want to do now is basically having them here between and let's remove the tooltip and fix this uh, bleed over effect. So first of all, let's go here in the plugins, comma, I'm going to say tooltip and we'll just, uh, hold on here. That should not be like that, so comma, tooltip, enable, set this on false, save, refresh. There is no more tooltip, but let's remove this uh, borderline here. This is a bleed over effect that comes because we are drawing a custom shape and that custom shape somehow picks, was being picked up by uh, the data set. So to do this, what I'm going to do here is ctx.begin path, indicating that we're going to create a new shape here. And this shape is independent of anything else. As you can see here, now it will work nicely. So what I want to do now is get basically the between position here. We have here the outer radius and this is the inner radius. Uh, well, we can do that later on. What I want to do first is let's start to draw that needle. And what we want is like a triangle shape here. So what I'm going to do is we will say here the move to this position should be maybe, well, if I want to move it now, because this is now point zero, if you want to move it to the left, I need to do negative. So I need to deduct here, for example, 15 pixels. So I say here minus 15, if I save that, refresh, as you can see here, we are creating now a diagonal line. So what I want to do is I want to just copy this put it in here but then we we'll delete all of this we're going to copy all of this here and we just say plus so if we have this plus 15 we will make here now a triangle so basically here one is from the center minus 15 pixels and the other one is center plus 15 pixels and now we get this nice shape here uh, let's see what we could do here more besides this I think what would be nice is to make sure that this point hits the center here. So how do we do this? Well, we have this inner radius and outer radius data. And what I want to do is I want to make sure what's the difference between the two and then divide it by two and then whatever that will be is here in the center. So to do this, let's do here a console log. I'm just going to show you here, outer radius minus the inner radius, which is a smaller amount. If I refresh that, you can see it's about 69 pixels, 0.8. So what I want to do then is, let's call this our constant um, uh, width of the slice. I don't know, I'm not sure if that's the right term, but that should be fine. What I do want to do is I want to divide it by two because I want to have the half width. For that, I want to make sure that this will be calculated first, and then we get here like 35 pixels or something like that. So now what I could do here is we have here the plus inner radius. And I guess we can say plus the slice or sorry, not plus, but negative. So if I do that, let's see here, there we are. And now we hit the very top. So what we can do here for the final one is to give it a shape to fill it up. So I'm going to say here, um, ctx dot fill. If I save that, refresh, you can see it already gets a color. But now what I want to do is I want to give it a proper color by assigning color. I'm going to say CTX that stroke style. And what we could do here is, for example, I want to have the borders in a nice black color. And then what I want to do is for the filler, which is the background color, we can make this a lighter color. So we're going to say CTX that um, fill style. And that could be gray for example save 
refresh. And as you can see here, I'm not sure if you're able to see it very clearly. We could make a thicker width. So say CTX that line width will be equal to three pixels. Save, refresh. There we are. So you can see here, if you don't like this, of course, because here it's slightly open, you can close this as well. To do that, all we're going to do here is uh, here, after, before we draw the lines and the fills, we're going to say ctx.close path to close the shape. Save, refresh, there we are. Although I don't recommend this basically is because we're going to mix to the circle and I guess this border color would not be proper, would not be a smart move for us. So I'm going to leave this by making it all identical color and maybe even remove here the uh, line width of that. Just make it like that. Save, refresh, there we are nice and crisp. Next video we're going to create the circle here.